My vision was to have a, a center that had a multidisciplinary approach, and that's what we've been able to put together over the last 10 years. When I talk about building a multidisciplinary clinic and research program, there's no better place than Hopkins. I mean, you have world-class researchers. Hopkins has this richness of resources and talent that we're able to draw on. The SLICE study is the foundational study in the Lyme Disease Research Center. This very important study examines patients with Lyme disease, but not just at a single time point. It follows them longitudinally. The SLICE study is linked to our biorepository. Those are the blood samples obtained from these longitudinal time points that are incredibly valuable. These blood samples are the basis of all of our collaborations looking for new diagnostic tests, for new biomarkers that will help us know who's gonna get better and who's not. And then we can learn how to treat people proactively. We bridge our patients' problems to the research lab. And there's a very few places that do that as well. One of the important things in the Lyme Center right now is where we bring in providers from other disciplines. This involves a new collaborator named Dr. Glenn Treisman. He's a medical psychiatrist and neuropharmacologist. So <clears throat> they're patients with multi-symptom disease and they go to rheumatologists for their rheumatological problem and psychiatrists for their depression, neurologists for their pain, but nobody gets them better. And so thinking about them in a bigger picture with collaborative care, we do much better with those patients and we're having these remarkable outcomes for patients who've been sick for a long time. So it's been very exciting. And the wonderful thing is that patients will come in, they'll have seen a million doctors and nobody will have ever put it together for them. And you know, some of them have rheumatological problems, ongoing immune dysregulation. And so it's, sometimes you have to treat their immune system as well as their, as well as their autonomic nervous system and their infection. We've really been able to expand beyond just a narrow focus and to bring in people with complementary um, approaches, whether that's in um, psychology and mental health or rheumatology and autoimmune diseases, neurology, all of those things are part of the complexity of Lyme disease. So you can see it takes a multidisciplinary team and we're so fortunate to have that team supported by an amazing clinical staff. The clinical team in the Lyme Center includes Cindy Cruz at the front desk, Susan Joseph, an RN, uh, Cheryl Novak, our incredibly talented nurse practitioner. This core clinical team is just essential for the overall functioning of the Lyme Center and really integrates with the physician uh, providers to really form a seamless unit of caregivers. The mission of our clinical care program, of course, is to provide suburb clinical care of our patients but at the same time to link patient care to our research program to find better diagnostic tests, to find better treatments. A lot of research done by Allison Redman, who's one of our faculty members, has really been important to show that a large part of what we initially do is by listening to patients, we validate that their problems are important and that we care about them and that their issues aren't just in their head, that they're not psychosomatic. But it all starts with taking the time to listen to the patients. Hope is one of the first words that comes to my mind when I think of the center. The support of the center in my healing journey was just incredible. It also gave me a special hope feeling that I was going to be a part of research, discovery, and future treatment of Lyme, um, that I could be a small part in making it better for someone else. It gave you hope and it also gave you focus. Those are the two biggest things. The beauty of the Lyme Center was it's science-based and, and driven that way. When you go to the Lyme Clinic, you, it's a calling. They are dedicated and committed, and I'm most grateful for that type of care. You uh, found medicine practice the way it should be. Uh, they were listening to you. Uh, they were respectful. Um, they made you feel like you didn't have to race through your symptoms and you kind of got to explain yourself. Until then, I was literally unable to move forward. A huge milestone, which has been a real accomplishment, is we've successfully competed for NIH funding. Receiving NIH funding gives the validation that what we're doing is good research. There's several aspects of our research right now that I find particularly compelling. Uh, one that I'm very excited about actually has to do with um, uh, 
uh, brain imaging. This is a project done by Dr. Sherry Marvel in the Department of Neurology. We're able to show that there are brain changes in people, both with acute and uh, chronic Lyme disease that are unexpected and not previously seen. Some of the most vexing problems in Lyme disease are the neurologic ones. It's so crucial to be able to do objective measures like functional MRI that actually show changes. So a part of our building in the next 10 years will be to involve more neurology to again build out this multidisciplinary approach. We, we're also developing a big program in uh, dysautonomia with Dr. Britt Adler that's looking at the impact of Lyme disease on the autonomic nervous system and how this um, relates to the development of fatigue and brain fog. We're also developing a big program with Dr. John Miller, who's a rheumatologist that's looking at autoimmune manifestations of Lyme disease. And he's been very instrumental in showing how Lyme disease sometimes triggers a secondary autoimmune arthritis and how identification of that's crucial for treating the arthritis that can develop uh, as part of Lyme disease. You know, without philanthropy, all these projects wouldn't have had a start. It often takes philanthropy to get projects going, and then we're successful in getting NIH funding, but that can take years. In that gap, um, the philanthropy has been crucial. So philanthropy built this Lyme Center initially and continues to allow us to start new projects. So I would thank the donors without which we wouldn't be where we are now, and we won't be where I want to be in another 10 years. I just want to say how grateful I am for the center and the time, care, and attention that was given to me in my journey. I felt like I mattered and they're making a difference. Again, I can't thank them enough for all that they did and basically uh, uh, put my life back on track. Medicine practiced the way it should be. That's made all the difference.